Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn more about the cloud formation helper scripts and more specifically cfn-init. So let's get started. So first of all, we'll try to understand what are these helper scripts. So basically, AWS cloud formation provides the following Python helper scripts that you can use to install software as well as start services on Amazon EC2 that you create as a part of your stack. Earlier in the previous video, we had created those uh, services of HTTPD using user data, but we have got another way with the help of which we can more uh, we can more conveniently add those services to our respective EC2 instance. So in this case, we'll be learning more about CFN init. So the CFN init helper script reads the template metadata from the AWS cloud formation init key and acts accordingly to fetch and parse data from the cloud formation, install packages, write files to disk and enable or disable and start or stop the services. Now, what's this? So I'll just show you a diagram. Now through this, you will be able to understand in a more better way. For example, with the help of cloud formation, we launched an EC2 instance and our script contains CFN init in it. With the help of CNF in it, we'll retrieve and interpret the metadata. Okay. And at the same time, we can also install packages, create files and start service on our EC2 instance. Okay. So this is a basic overview of CFN in it. And you can see the syntax within CFN in it we can add these many parameters for our um, respective resources, right? So in this options I mentioned stack hyphen S or hyphen hyphen stack. So we'll just go through the required ones. All these can be added, but the most required are or that is, has to be there in our uh, parameters is stack as well as resources. So these two things needs to be present over there and the rest are the things that you can mention also and it won't matter if you don't mention them as well. Okay. The following snippets shows the user data property of an EC2 instance which runs install and run config set. Now, one more thing I would love to um, make you aware of is that there are configs as well as config sets available, which we'll be learning more in our, this particular type. So whenever we uh, write CFN in it or mention it in our user data script, AWS cloud formation in it is what gets called with because whenever we use it okay so use this type to include metadata on an is amazon ec2 instance for the cf init helper script okay so this is what is used to call i mean which is a type of metadata and which gets called whenever we make use of cf and init okay now, considering its syntax, you can see that within the resources, we, wherever we mention the logical ID of our EC2 instance, within that only we'll be mentioning metadata. That is, it is a part of your instance. Next thing is, we have mentioned AWS cloud formation in it, followed by config. Now we have got config as well as config sets. With config, we have got a predefined order of these um, configuration details. You 
can't change this order okay but this order can be changed with config sets that's what now we'll one by one go through all these and their work and how we have implemented it in our uh, yaml template okay so what are these packages used for packages are used to install different softwares on our ec2 instance you can use any of those packages like yum or apt or any other right the next one is groups so we create groups on linux system okay using this particular section within that particular section and for users also we'll be we can create linux as well as unix users in it for sources we can download files from the remote sources or files and same with the files where it, this files is totally based on inline content and in template as well as remote location we have also commands and within commands we execute some custom scripts we can execute any of those scripts within our commands section next thing is about services which defines more about the services being enabled or disabled we can also start any of the services that are required for our application using this particular section so for Linux specifically, we make use of SysPinit for um, running different services. Now let's get started with our template which we have created as a sample. So if you have already watched my user data video, you can view, you will understand that the rest of the things are as it is parameters of SSH key then resources like ec2 instance as well as security group the only thing that i have changed over here is related to addition of metadata as well as modifying my user data now in this case what we did is we first updated our cloud formation package since these are uh, frequently updated we need to use this first then after that we'll be writing a command for cfn in it anything that gets installed will get will go into this particular location right and as i had already said that stack that stack as well as resource being the required entities within this particular command we have mentioned it as a stack id as well as my instance comes from the resource that is my ec2 instance followed by region which is optional but still we have mentioned it over here and then you can see that if and if there is any problem while executing this command it will give you an error exit fail to run cfn in it command okay now the most important portion is this that whenever uh, our user data or our um, ec2 instance calls or executes this particular command it will automatically search for metadata and within that it will look for this particular type that is aws cloud formation in it within that it will then go to config and within config as i already mentioned the ordered services or um, keywords can be used okay so this is package within package we have got yum which is used to install and then httpd wow. so we are in short installing httpd again on our again on our instance okay then we have got files in this case in this particular location it will be creating a file 
and we'll add this particular content of hello world from EC2 instance as well as this paragraph. And we have also mentioned the mode to be 0, 000, and within commands, we can also just create an identifier and within that we'll mention the whole command. Services sys minute, which I already said is used with Linux and we'll be then enabling it and ensure that it's running. Okay, so now let's go to our cloud formation and then create a stack. Again, my template is ready. So I'll be uploading it directly. So within this, you can see the CFN in it. And next, what will be this stack name? We'll be giving it as metadata for CFN in it. And for SSH key, I'll be selecting it. You can create it if you don't have any. I'll be assigning a name of my instance. Okay. And the rest of the things, I'll be keeping them as it is. The same with the stack failure options. Next. And then we'll keep as it is and submit. Okay. So now it will start the creation for. Now that we are done with the con resources configuration, we'll go to this particular EC2 instance. You can see it is up and running. We'll connect it it's in this particular console. And now we have to search for the file that is do cat var log cfn sorry I think it's cloud cloud in it hyphen output dot log and you can see all the everything that got executed so now you can see that this command has also got executed and it hasn't given any output so for getting all the details you can directly go to sudo cat var log cfn hyphen init dot log now you can see that it first installed our httpd then the command hello got succeeded and enabled the service httpd and started httpd successfully you can see that we had mentioned the command hello which got executed over here. So in this way, we successfully created an EC2 instance along with the metadata so that we could execute the things that we actually wanted to implement, right? Like starting this particular service of HTTPD using CFN in it. Hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you really love the content. Thank you so much and have a nice day.